The following installation instructions are a general guideline on how to assemble a Logier wall unit. For more detailed instructions, please refer to the printed installation instructions found in the red and white striped box. Welcome to the video assembly instructions for Logier wall sections. When your shipment first arrives, locate the red and white striped box. In this box, you will find hardware to assist you in assembling the fixture, instructions in case of damage or shortage, suggested unloading and stacking procedures, printed installation instructions, and a packing list. This packing list will have a printout of what has been shipped and will correspond to the labels on the end of each box. If the red and white striped box does not contain a packing list, check the other product boxes for the one that has the packing list attached to it. To begin the assembly, first stack the cartons as suggested on the gold instruction sheet. Step 1. Snap a chalk line on the floor for the desired location of the base fronts. Please note the decks will overhang the chalk line by 3 inches. Step 2. Lay out the parts as shown here. Place the uprights in the center with the base brackets alongside. Then the base fronts, center, and bottom rails alongside. As an alternative, you may place the center and bottom rails inside the base front. Step 3. Hook the spring-loaded base bracket into the upright. Install the bracket fully into the upright slot, then push down. The latch must fully engage in the upright to lock the bracket into place. Check the tab on the bracket to ensure proper installation. A light tap with a rubber mallet may be required to fully engage the latch. Before completing the following step, please refer to page 1A of the printed installation instructions for detailed rail descriptions and locations. Step 4. Stand the first and second upright assembly up and attach the bottom rail into the bottom lance of the upright. Then attach the center rail. Next, attach the base fronts to the base brackets. The base fronts are installed by sliding them in from the top. The base fronts should line up with the chalk line on the floor. Step 5. When only one back is used on one side of the wall section, bend out the bottom rail tab on the opposite side from the panel. Step 6. Find the top of the back panels by locating the end marked with a paint stripe. The top row of holes will be 7 eighths of an inch from center to the top edge. Next, install one back panel to the section. Be sure to set the back into place. Do not drop into place. Step 7. Assemble the remaining sections along the chalk line as before, except do not install any more backs to the fixture. Bend the bottom rail tabs on these remaining sections. Step 8. Align all the closed base fronts to the chalk line. Wall sections will tilt slightly backward. A rearward tilt of approximately three-quarters of an inch is recommended for wall sections that will be heavily loaded. Logier base brackets and upright leveling legs are preset to allow installation of the wall sections without any leveling adjustment on flat level floors. If the floor shows large amounts of uneven conditions, proceed as follows. Step 9. Leveling the Fixture Insert wedges into the two end upright slots, making sure that you use the same slot on both uprights. Run a string between the two wedges. Pull tight and tie. Wedges are not provided, but can be made with these dimensions out of metal or wood. As an alternative, you may use the leveling leg wrench in place of a wedge. Next, measure the end upright from the floor to the top. Using the leveling leg wrench, adjust the upright leveling leg so that the top of the upright is 3 eighths of an inch under the upright's nominal height. 
The nominal height of the upright is the height of the upright that was ordered. Repeat this procedure to the upright on the other end of the run. Now adjust the remaining uprights using the string as a guide. Next, using a long screwdriver, adjust the base bracket leveling leg to tilt the upright back to the wall. Be sure that the bottom of each upright is three quarters of an inch from the base of the wall. If a rearward tilt is not desired, use a carpenter's level to ensure that the upright is plumb. Repeat this procedure on the remaining base brackets. Step 10. If required, anchor the wall sections. It's very important to check if your wall sections need to be anchored. Please refer to the installation instruction sheet 1B found in the red and white striped box for detailed anchoring procedures and requirements. Step 11. Install the remaining backs. Then install the top rails. Be sure the top rails lock into place. Step 12. Install the end trim. Install the upright end trim by holding it at an angle and hooking to the top of the upright and pressing on, working towards the floor. Next, install the base end trim by sliding it over the base bracket, ensuring that it slides between the front and rear flanges on the base bracket. Step 13. Install the base decks. To install the base deck, tilt upwards and hook the rear molding behind the hold down pin on the rear of the base bracket. Be sure that the alignment lug aligns with the notch on the base deck and set into place. To finish the assembly, install the shelves. Thank you for watching the video assembly instruction for a Logier wall section.